Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about muslin squares today. Wonderful things muslin squares and they're really great for the very newborn stage because they're so slim fitting. I actually found that once my milk came in a muslin square wasn't absorbent enough but I had very big hungry feeders and enough milk to feed a, a couple of twins. Um, so my babies actually went quite a long time between feeds but for most babies they don't they need changing very frequently and a muslin square is great this is a 70 centimeter square which is a sort of fairly standard size um if you're going to use them as nappies you can get 60 centimeter ones in the shops and i'll show you how to do those as well later 70 centimeter square is obviously far too big for a, a tiny baby so initially all we're going to do is fold the corners in to make the square smaller once you've done that with the 70 centimeter square, you've actually got a 50 centimeter square, which is a grand size for using standard uh, nappy folds. Um, I think probably the most popular one for newborns is the bat fold because it folds up really neatly. To do the bat fold with the muslin square, fold the nappy, the square that you've got in half, pull one corner out so it joins the other corner that way. Flip the whole thing over and fold that bit into a pad. Now what I like to do um, with these for a newborn is fold that in again and fold that down because it makes it just a little bit narrower. So fold that in again, fold that bit down. Just makes it a bit narrower but, uh, around the waist so there's not quite so much. And it goes on just like your normal Terry would go on up, pull across, oops, pull across there, use your nappy nipper, don't forget to pull down really hard on that bottom one and tuck in around the legs and there you are, there's your Terry, yeah muslin square sorry, in the back fold on a newborn baby and it really is nice and neat and trim. Pop the wrap on top. This is a newborn nappy, it is folded up ready for a newborn nappy, a baby. So there, make sure your wrap covers everything and it's a nice neat job. For a newborn, just make sure everything is tucked inside that wrap so nothing is on. I haven't adjusted the, the rise on this so you need to adjust the rise a bit more. Um, but it's a really neat, neat, nice way. The other way you can use a muslin square on a newborn is just to simply pad fold it. Now when you make your first folds you can make these, they don't have to go right into the middle, they can go further. So you can make your initial square much smaller than the 50 centimetres. So for a newborn going into a pad fold, you'd probably need about that length. Fold it in three or four, probably four or four. Pop it in your wrap and it can go on like that. Not so good at containment that way, but a lot of people do do it that way. And there you are, just pad folded and you're all done. Make sure everything's tucked down inside and you're all done. And the other fold that you can use, again, go back to your open and just fold your four corners in. So we're going back to the 50 centimetre, what will end up as a 50 centimetre square. So we're there and we can do the kite fold for that. Fold in, but fold well over, so about a third of two thirds of the way across. And that one, so you've actually got triple layer there. Fold down, fold up. Thank you, baby. Get the, the back of the nappy, the top of the nappy, round about just either above or below the umbilicus. It doesn't matter which, but the umbilicus either needs to be fully fully uh, covered or fully uncovered. Um, there. Pull in as you, as you pull that first one up so it goes, goes neater between the legs. It saves a bit of folding in there. Cross, across, 
across nappy nipper on this is incidentally my favorite one because it's best for container pull down hard on that nappy nipper tuck in again it's already partially tucked it in tuck in again there wrap on the top and that one to me is the neatest one but everybody has their own favorites uh, it's the neatest and simplest one and it's it's good containment because you get a good close fit round the necks make sure that your wrap covers everything i'm going to adjust this wrap so we'll put it on the smallest fold this is a newborn this is a size one small size and um, wrap so you're there wrap on the top make sure it covers everything Nice, neat, well-contained solution. Put every, push everything back up, and there we are. Muslin square on a newborn. Three different ways. There are probably lots more, but those are my three favourite ways to use it. Now, on a bigger baby, a muslin square will be nothing like absorbent enough. So you will need some addition, additional absorbency. So here's our square again. Now you can make your initial square bigger if you wish. You don't have to do that at all. One of the simplest ways is to just fold the muslin in quarters. And make a pad. But you will need more absorbent than, absorbency than that uh, with a bigger baby. You can then use the angel fold which is this one which people use as free free fold uh, pre folds you can do it that way come up this is my whopper of a baby and that's going to be a bit small for her um, but for, for um, a smaller a smaller baby it will work what you do need to do with the muslin with bigger babies is you need to use some sort of boosters now you can either use a terry boost and just fold it up in the nappy whichever way you like fold it up so let's say i'm going to do the kite fold with this i've got a really big baby this time so i'm going to use that full 70 centimeters and i'm going to do the kite fold got that diagonally in the middle so i'm going to fold into the middle fold into the middle fold down the top fold up the bottom and that will fit a fairly humongous baby this is uh, a two year old um, two to three age jumpsuit pull in pull in there there and you've got a nappy which will hold for a while with a booster in it will hold for a while what a lot of people do is rather than folding up the booster inside I'll take this one out because it's already folded but assume that there's there's no booster inside this and just no I'll well, take it out <laughs> because we're going to use that as a as a booster so fold your Fold your kite as you would normally there and use a standard insert or booster just as a pad wherever you need it. To, more towards the bottom for a, a little boy in the middle for a girl. And there you go. Tuck in as you go. Pull up pull across, pull across and it's another way of using muslin as a holder for an insert. You could put two inserts in, you could use it like a, like um, as you would a pocket nappy and of course you wrap over the top. The right way and there you are. So various different ways to use uh, muslins which are neat just always make sure that everything is tucked inside inside and inside check behind as well make sure everything 
is tucked inside the wrap. And that's quite a neat, as you can see, very neat um, nappy. Won't last long, but it's good enough for daytime. If you've got 60 centimetre uh, um, muslins, you probably need to use two together. If you're going to use them on a tiny baby, you probably need to put two, fold two together. Um, I can't actually demonstrate here, but I could demonstrate with uh, a 60 centimetre terry. Um, So you would fold, preferred fold would be the origami fold. Imagine this is a, um, a standard 60 centimetre um, muslin. Origami fold, back fold, whatever it's called, whatever you like to call it. Pull one corner straight across. As you go, it will bring that triangular up. Fold into a pad and that will fit on a newborn fairly well up tuck in it will obviously a muslin would be a lot neater and less bulky than a terry but that's how you do it you can also of course pad fold find the length that you need now that is probably going to be too long so you would need to fold up shorter maybe like that and then start uh, folding two pads that way just fiddle around until you find the right size use pads good luck with that have a play see how you go bye